All right, hello, Internet. Welcome to, uh, I guess you'd say, a tips and tricks video for uh, for SWAT and trying to rank up in SWAT. Let me go ahead and start a custom game here. Um, now, somebody did ask me to make a video like this, and I did just record uh, this, but I decided to delete it because I feel like I took too long to explain it, and I might take just as long this time, but I might have better information <laughs> for you. Um, Basically, I'm going to explain my uh, aiming, how you should aim, and how you should uh, position in terms of playing on SWAT. Um, SWAT is a lot different from something like Slayer. I play a lot differently in Slayer than I do from SWAT because SWAT is a one-shot headshot, so you have to be a lot more careful than in Slayer. Also, your teammates are a lot more uh, useful to stick around in Slayer than it is in SWAT because in SWAT, usually you can just like get an overkill by yourself, you know, so um, it's not as difficult in Slayer. Uh, so, okay, so we'll start with aiming. Now, uh, usually I think this is a pretty general uh, knowledge or general tip, I'm not sure, but um, usually when I'm aiming, going around corners, I usually keep head level with, uh, with the floor. So if, uh, if a blue guy was gonna come around this corner, I would already be at head level and I can just strafe left or right my stick to aim at him. And I don't have to like, go up a little bit or go down, you know, and, and aim if I'm aiming too high or something like that, you know, so um, always go around corners or just if you're walking around, just make sure you always have your reticle at head level for where the enemy could possibly be. If there's going to be an enemy around this corner and I'll have, I'll already have a pretty good advantage by already having my reticle at head level. I think that's a pretty general tip for SWAT, but um, it, it can make a difference if you're, if you're going around a corner. If I went around the corner like this and I you know, if I was aimed up like that because I was like looking up there and then I went around the corner, I, I would have to swipe down like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you are aiming up here um, just to look for somebody, don't go around the corner like this because you're going to get shot in the side of the head if somebody's right there. Um, but yeah, just make sure you go around corners. And also, make sure you go around corners pretty tightly. So if there was a blue guy coming around this corner, um, don't go around it like this out in the open. Um, there's there's a good chance that they'll see you just as quickly as you'll see them. Uh, a lot of the way I play maps is to play a, de a defensive strategy, but it's very based on getting the jump on somebody. So this, going around the corner tightly like that, you're going to see them, or you're going to be able to react a lot quicker to them being able to ra react to you. Because they're probably, and the reason I say that is because of their reticle, okay? They're not... They're probably, if they're up here, they're going to be like looking up there, checking the stairs, you know, or if they just came around this corner, they, they might check here, but they might like eventually pan the reticle over here to look up there. You know what I'm saying? So if you go around like this, then it gives them a lot more chance to, to shoot at you. Whereas if you go like this, you get to jump on them very quickly and you very quickly go around the corner and then you can just shoot them like that. Also, it's a lot easier with a BR than it, was, it is with a Magnum because you get a three-shot burst, so you can kind of just, you know, go over. You can go over their head like that if you, uh... So, say I, I come around the corner like this, my reticle's here, but the blue guy's over here, then I can just swipe shot like that, and I'll, there's a good chance that you can get them like that, so... Uh, that's that's general aiming tips um, for going around corners. If you're playing a little bit more offensively, then I highly recommend, you know, say, go go like this, and then just pop out like that. Um, you could be very unlucky and have somebody, when you pop out like this, they're already like right there and jumping. Um, usually that doesn't happen, but uh, if you are afraid of something like that or you do suspect somebody, then you can play outwards a little bit more like this. Um, but yeah, so that's general aiming tips. Um, keeping it head level uh, as to where you're running. If I was like going this way and I suspect somebody be right there, I suspect their head to pop out right about there if they're coming around the corner. So I'll, I'll keep it like right there, you know what I'm saying? And then I'll, I'll move it as I go up the stairs. Um, if if I know somebody's in there, you know, something like that. All right, so that's that's aiming tips. That's usually generally what I do. Um, but it's not all about aiming. It's a lot about positioning on the map. And usually when I play a game, I play a very defensive strategy. So I'll play... Um, Usually on the rig, I'll play like something up here. This is a very good spot to be. And the reason is because of your, I guess I'll call it sight line, is uh, where, what you can see from where you are. So if I'm if I'm playing tower two, this is tower two and I'm playing on the second second floor, I have sight, sight line on people spawning over there, which stairs are a pretty uh, good spawn. 
I have sight over here. I can pop out if uh, if I know nobody's over there and I know somebody's in there. I could pop out and shoot somebody there, but um, generally you want to keep you know keep close to your cover so you can go in and out very quickly. But yeah, like I said, I have sight over there, over there. Um, if I know my teammates over here and the enemy spawning over here, then I have sights on this area and I have sights all the way over here. So this is generally a pretty good ma uh, area of the map to control because you have a lot of vision on the enemy and uh, you can get the jump on them a lot just from being up here. Uh, you, I mean, you don't have vision outside on that side, but um, that's uh, this is usually a good spot to control. You'll, you'll get a lot of kills, kills uh, being here. So I highly recommend, on this map at least, try and, trying to play from this area, if you can. Um, there are some other spots that I'll show later on that I, uh, you can play from. But I think uh, next we should talk about um, teammates and where the enemy is going to spawn. So generally, if you know where your teammates are, you're going to know where the enemy is. And the reason I say that is because, let's say you have a teammate, he died, he just spawned over there. You have a teammate in here, he's going there, and then you have like a teammate outside, like by the plasma caster or something, right? Um, they're, they're in those positions. If you click glance over and you see where your teammates are, you can play from this position, and you know that the enemy is going to be on this general side of the map, in this general area, right? So they could come from here, the, somebody could go up there, though that's usually not that common. And more likely than not, somebody's going to come through here. That's that's on the enemy team. If your teammates are back there and you're controlling this area, right? So, like I said, if you know where your teammates are and they're in those positions, then you know the enemy is going to be over here and you can expect where they're going to come from and when. Um, and also, if your teammates and you're control, let's say you're controlling this position well, you killed like two guys here, you killed a guy there, and your teammates all pushed up and they got a couple spawn kills and now your teammates are on this side of the map then you should no longer be playing this area because your teammates are all over here the, they're going to be spawning on this side over here now so you can play from this area back here if you're playing from here then it's a good chance that you're going to get shot so you need to make sure that you're always paying attention to your teammates um and if they're on this side of the map then you mean need to be wary of the other side of the map right so need to uh make sure to pay attention to very uh, more more often than not, they're gonna spawn on these stairs over here, or they might spawn like in the back side over there where I was giving the aiming tips. Um, but yeah, more likely than not, if you have teammates over here, you can poke your head out, probably do a jump, and you will see more like more more likely not one or two blue guys. I don't know how much I've said that, but <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of like knowing the um, how spawns work. Uh, it's very very useful. Time is running out. God damn it. Very useful to know know. Um, know where your uh, teammates are at so always take a glance uh, you know every five ten seconds or so or as often as you can if you're not holding down a position shooting at people to uh to look over and see where your teammates are and then you have a good uh good amount of knowledge on where the enemy is uh, like i said i usually play a pretty defensive strategy so um usually i like to play up here however if the team isn't doing that well and the enemy team is pretty good and say you were forced back into here or you just died up there and you got spawned over here you can play a defensive strategy here um but like i said you don't have as much sight on the enemy or as much vision on the map from here as you do being up there you don't you don't control as much as if you were uh, in the middle up there as opposed to being back here um some maps do have very open uh, areas in the middle so you do kind of have to play in the back if you're not playing offensively um so it's just about knowing the map. The rig has a little bit more uh, defense, so you could play, you know, uh, up there. You can play back here. Uh, another area that I really, really, really like to play um, because you have a lot of vision is to play right here in this area right here. So you have um, you have a good jump on people that are on the right side over here. They won't see you pop out real quickly. You have um, some vision up there and over here on the left side. So, and then also you have vision on here. So if your teammates all died and they spawned over here, then you can expect some blue guys to come come from this way. And so you can sit here and get some some pretty good picks off. I've gotten quite a few triples and overkills just sitting in the spot right here, knowing that the enemy was going to spawn there because my teammates were all on this side of the map, you know. So, um, that's general knowledge on on spawning and stuff like that. Um, Quick tip, if you're looking for somebody to pop around this corner, don't stand here out in the open. Don't stand like this. 
like I said, you want to get the jump on somebody so you have the best possible chance of shooting them in the head before they shoot you, right? So if you're right here, they can only see you if you're if they're in this area. So if they're coming from that door, then they're gonna they're gonna check in here. They're not gonna see anybody's in this area right here. So let, let me let me show you what I'm saying. So if they come through this area right here, and they see over here, they're not gonna really see anybody. They they might see a little bit of you there, but if you're standing right there, like where I was, then they're not gonna see you, and they're gonna they're gonna like look over here to make sure nobody's over here. And then the the side of their head is going to be facing you because you're sitting right here. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's that's if they're coming from this area right here. If they're coming from back there, then you have to uh, rely on you getting the first shot first. Um, so I mean, a lot of SWAT is reaction times, but um, if you can predict where they're going to be, like I said, sitting right here, then you have a very good chance of just getting the jump on them and getting a quick headshot off before they they can on you. So. Um, that's that's playing a defensive strategy. No matter where you're playing, you want to make sure you hug cover and know where your where your sight lines are and where they can see you um, at. So, like I said, you're playing from here. You have a lot of vision on this side over here and through here. Um, so yeah, that's I could go into more detail for specific maps, but that is my general knowledge on playing SWAT. Um, I like I said, if you watch my videos, I'll, I usually play pretty defensively um so like i said if i'm over here i'll hold this strategy or this spot here and if i can't push up to get up there then i'll probably just hold that area but uh, you uh you'll probably never see me just like running around like this doing jumps and trying to you know get get the jump on people because the fact that i just ran through here like this uh i could get shot from up there i could get shot from there i could get shot from there i could get shot from if anybody's looking over here up there over here you know like there's being out in the open like this, there's a lot of different angles that you can just get headshotted from. Um, so stick to your cover, stick to the walls, make sure you're playing it safely. Get uh, get the jump on people like this, you know. Um, and yeah, so that's that's generally how I would play the rig. Um, you can use this uh, for other maps as well. Just find a spot that is uh, has a lot of cover. Like I said, the rig up here. Um, if you play down there, you don't have as much vision on people as you do up here. But, um, Jesus, that guy. It's countdown. Um, so yeah. Play, play to your strengths and play where you can get the jump on somebody before, before they see you, right? So, a lot, a lot of instances I've just popped out here and they were, they weren't looking, they weren't looking at me, you know, and I just got a quick shot off. Same, same, same way over here. I just popped out like this, got a headshot really quickly. So, um, that's how you would play a defensive strategy. Game game time's gonna run out. I'm not really sure what more there is to explain. The only the only other stuff I could explain is um, the specific spots I play on different maps. This is also kind of a weird spot. I don't know if you want to play up there, but you could. Um, but yeah, that's that's how I that's how I play SWAT. So uh, I'm I could go into more detail, but there's there's a lot of maps to go through for for SWAT. Um, I was in champion. I was at like champion 172, and then I lost like two games, and now I'm Onyx 2115. <laughs> Feels bad, man. But uh, yeah, that's that's my general knowledge on SWAT. Um, there's not really um, there's not a whole lot. Like you're gonna have to rely on on reaction timing a lot. But if if you play uh, defensively like that, or even if you play offensively, is if you get the jump on people like that around corners and stuff like that. There's a very good chance of you getting a headshot on them and keeping your reticle at head level um, if you're not somebody who bumper jumps around all over the place. If you are somebody who bumper jumps around all over the place, then you're going to have to rely on just your reaction timing because your reticle is not going to be on their head when it goes around the corner because you're jumping around. So uh, generally, that's how I play SWAT. There are... So like Coliseum, for instance, is very open out in the middle. I'd probably play some on the side. Eden as well. I play some play a defensive strategy on the side of the map. I won't be out in the middle usually because it's pretty open. Um, but yeah, get a get an advantageous position and don't run around the map too much. Um, just pay attention to where your teammates are and you know where they're going to spawn. So if you're holding down that one position, then you can just look where they're going to spawn and you'll mo more likely than not get a get the jump on them. So. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, the strategy I use on these maps. You can watch uh, my multiplayer videos and you'll see me using these strategies 
in the uh, in the videos that I uh, that I make. Um, I don't go into depth usually on those videos. It's usually just me playing SWAT, having fun, you know. Um, so this this video, I tried to be a little bit more in depth as to how I, you know, played the game actually. But if you pay attention to what I'm doing, um, look at the spots that I'm uh, playing on the different maps in SWAT, then uh, play those play those spots as well, and you'll probably have good success uh, as much as I do. Like I said, I'm like my shots are not honestly not that good. Uh, my accuracy is pretty shit, but uh, by by getting the jump on people and using those strategies, uh, you can actually win a lot of firefights or just kill them before they even see you most of the time. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if it wasn't as that's about as in depth as I can go without um, you know explaining a specific strategy for every single SWAT map, you know, um, that's just how I play SWAT. Uh, a lot of it is practice. I've played a lot of Halo over the years, so um, that's yeah, that's about as in depth as I can go. I think for explaining my strategies, like I said, just watch uh, my multiplayer videos. You'll see, you'll see the way I, I play in those as well. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, let me know. If not, uh, I'm not really sure what else I can explain. Um, I, I sometimes I explain in my uh, multiplayer videos as to what I'm doing. Um, so. If you find this very helpful, then I would highly suggest just watching those and seeing what I do in those as well. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video I make. Peace!